Well, hello, everybody, and happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, March 21st, 2023 at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. This is Lisa Freeman from StampingWithLisa.com coming to you live. Hello, 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 everybody. I see a lot of you guys jumping on, and I'm just giving y'all a couple minutes to get on here. Don't forget to give a thumbs up when you get on and say hello. I see a lot of you guys are on here talking about good weather, saying hello. Happy Tuesday. Today's the first day of spring. I'm so excited. And if you're friends with me on Facebook, you saw my post. Oh, let me zoom in a little bit. It's kind of far. There we go. Let's see if that looks better. I don't know why my, uh, <laughs> my computer's always delayed like 10 seconds or something. <laughs> Now you can see it closer, but then you can't see my um my thing that says where to go to order. <laughs> I'm making y'all dizzy. <laughs> all right, hold on. Let me see if I can get all that in there. I'll pull it down just a little bit. <laughs> uh, oh, Diana says, love that post on Facebook. I know. I used the same one last year. I love that little um, pickup truck. It's so cute. And I just, I'm so excited. And I worked in the yard. Well, I had a class this morning and we had so much fun. My stomach hurt from laughing so hard. I said it was better than a workout because we were laughing so hard. My stomach literally hurt like I was doing sit-ups. We just laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed. One of the girls who was there, my friend Brenda, she is a hoot. And she's one of those people that just says whatever comes to her head, she just says it and doesn't even think about it. And and the things that come out of her mouth just crack me up. And she's so funny. But we were just laughing and laughing and laughing. And um and then after we finished class, I went out and worked in the yard till about 5 30. So that was like four hours of working in the yard. And let me tell you, I'm worn out and I can hardly walk. So <laughs> I am really uh, <laughs> lucky to be even sitting here because <laughs> once I sat down, I didn't think I was going to get up because my legs and my butt and <laughs> my back are, are killing me. I I mowed the grass. I edged. I pulled weeds. I put down weed and feed. I, um, what else? I cleaned my shed out. Ugh. Oh. I did a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, I blew everything and then swept it all up. Oh my gosh, I got a blister from sweeping. I cut myself. I was out, um, I actually cut myself a couple times. There's another one. I um, have all these like cattails out by the water. You know, I live on the water. And I was trying to use one of those like little sickle things to cut them. Cause they're all like brown and you know, they're all the new ones are starting to come up. And so I was trying to cut down the old ones, but they weren't really cutting. So I was trying to hold them and then cut them. And it just like, when I cut it, it just sliced right through, not the sickle, but the, um, the actual cattail just sliced right through my finger. And I was like, Oh my God. And I didn't really realize it at the time. And all of a sudden I look and my hands just covered in blood. <laughs> So I wiped it all over my shirt. <laughs> and then I went running in the house to get a band-aid. <sighs> but that didn't stop me. I still kept going. So anyway, yeah, I was on self-destruct. That's right, Vicky. <laughs> no more critters. No, 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 because the guys fixed that. They put um that like wire mesh all the way around the shed. So yeah, the critters are gone. So I cleaned out all the stuff that was in there. So that's a good thing. So, let me say hello to everybody. Hey, Diana. Hey, Sue. Hey, Karen. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Beth. Hey, Julie. Hey, Gigi. Hey, Katie. Hey, Jody. Hey, Tony. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Pam. Hey, Carol. Hey, Robin. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Carol. Oh, my gosh. We could go on forever. So, we already have 100 people on here. Oh, my gosh. So, hey, Dolores. Hey, Bill. Hey, Therese. Hey, Ginger Snap. Hey, Sharon. Not warm enough in Missouri for gardening. Ugh. 
Jealous. It was nice today. It was like 65-ish. Beautiful day. And it's supposed to be 80 by the by Thursday, I think. I think it's supposed to be 65 again tomorrow and then like 75 or 78 on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So it's going to be super, super nice this week. So I wanted to get the weed and feed down, get my yard going. So it'll look good. But I'm telling you what, it, it when you get out and do your first mow, it always lets you know how out of shape you are from the winter. Because I am totally out of shape. And I, my whole body is going to be, well, it's sore right now. So I'm thinking tomorrow it's going to be like not able to move. <laughs> All right. So this is what we're making tonight. So a couple of you guys suggested the Joseph's Coat technique. Um, one person said with butterflies, but if you go back and look, I already did one with butterflies, so I didn't want to do the same card that I did last time. So this time we're using the Fragrant Flowers, which this set, it matched that paper that was in the Celebration catalog, that really pretty purple and orange paper that had all those flowers on it. That was one of my favorites. So this set comes with matching dyes. So you've got the dyes. We don't have the paper anymore, but I hoarded it, so I have a bunch of it. And um, I'm going to keep using it for myself. I can't use it in classes, but I can keep using it for myself. So it's a really pretty stamp set. And um, this is just a different way to use it. And this is a really easy technique. So I'm going to show you how to do it. And I do it a little bit different than some people do. This was my first one I did. It was a little bit of a reject because... Um, I tried <laughs> when I was wiping it off, I was using a paper towel and I thought, I wonder if a baby wipe would work <laughs> to wipe it better. So I tried a baby wipe and it, it actually like took off all the ink and the embossing and every, it just kind of wiped everything off and it ruined it. So it was coming, it was really pretty and I really liked it, but I said, wow, that just kind of ruined it. And also, I was using blue as one of the colors, and the the blue I was using to go around the edge was almost the same. So I decided to switch the blue to um, the yellow. Well, it's Parakeet Party, so it's kind of like a greenish yellow. Kind of like Granny Apple Green. So this one was using Bermuda Bay, Pacific Point, and Fresh Freesia. And this one's using Bermuda Bay, Fresh Freesia, and Parakeet Party. So almost the same. And this one really was beautiful before I ruined it with the baby wipe. So tip, don't use a baby wipe, use a paper towel, which is what I thought, but I just thought I'd try a um, baby wipe just in case it worked. All right, don't forget card kit for this time right here. Now is until the end of the month is the napkin card kit. So you will get either four of these a set of four of these or four of these, or you can get two of each um, and you can get them with glitter or without. So you can get the um, sticker paper. Um, that's with a $50 order. And then um, if your order is over $100, you'll get a pack of these gems. I'll just pick a random one and put it in your order. I mean, in your um, envelope and send it to you. So that is going on for the next, uh, what's today? About 10 days. So you can get that. Um, and I think that's all the news I have for today. And we've got the retiring list coming out in a week. So that'll be exciting because I'm sure some stuff is going to be on sale. And don't forget those, um, in colors from last year will all be going. Um, I think unless any of them are going to stay, but I don't know. We don't know. We'll find out soon. In about another week and a half, we'll find out what new colors are coming. I'm very excited about that. So, all right, let me show you what you need for this card. So you need, not much. Um, we've got Bermuda Bay, five and a half by eight and a half. Um, white, two pieces of white, one for the front, one for the inside, five and a quarter by four. Two little pieces for the words, three and a quarter by one, Bermuda Bay, three by three quarters white. So that's all you need for this card. Super easy peasy. And I think all of that fits in the screenshot for you. So take a picture of that and we'll get started. Um, 
Yay, Betty, you made it. Um, I still have a couple cards um, that I gave away last time that I haven't heard, or time before last, I think. I haven't heard from you guys. So check out the last video or the one before that. I can't remember which one it was. And I've got a couple cards to give away at the end of this video. I'm so impatient they should tell us what now, what colors they're bringing back. Yeah, I know, but you know. <laughs> They want to just keep the suspense until the first of the month. Hope you wear sunscreen when you're out in the yard. Uh, I didn't today, but I do in the summer. I do when it's like really hot and sunny out. But this time of the year, I don't think the sun is that strong because I was out there. I did get a little bit of sun on my hands. I had on long pants and I had short sleeves on, but I got a little bit just on my arms. Okay, so, you ready? I'm so tired. <laughs> I feel like a wet noodle. <laughs> Somebody could just blow me over right now. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm glad I, I came up with this project on, um, when did I do it? What's today, Tuesday? I did it on Sunday, because I knew I wanted to, to do the yard today. So I was like, I better get out, get this project done and ready to go. So I can just go mow the grass and do all that today. So I had it all ready and cut to do. Oh, and this is the inside of the card. I just stamped one of the little flowers in there. So, <clears throat> all right. So what we're going to do is start with this. I didn't bring an embossing buddy with me, but hopefully I was going to say, I'll just wipe it with my shirt. <laughs> Hold on. I'll just wipe it. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. So. We're gonna stamp with Versamark and the big stamp. So this is the stamp I'm using, it's a big stamp. And we're gonna stamp it a couple times in Versamark. And I'm gonna get, let me get my powder ready. So this is clear embossing powder. You have to use clear. Hopefully I won't spill this. I like to keep it in one of these things so I don't spill it, but you guys know what happened the last time. All right, so ink it up really good with the Versamark, and then you're gonna stamp it like right here in the corner. Give it a good press so the ink goes all into the paper. And then, voila. I know you can't see that, but I can see it. It's there. All right, then I'm gonna do another one um, let me see, all right, let's do one like right in here. I'm gonna try and fit like two and a half. And it's sticky. All right, one more. I'm just gonna do this one right here on this edge. You gotta kinda look at it sideways to see it. Okay, and that should be good. All right, so then we're gonna take our embossing powder and cover it. So let me just stick it in there like that. And then turn it around. Oh no, you know what? I just did this totally wrong. Oh my gosh, good thing I brought an extra piece of paper. And nobody's even telling me anything. This is totally the wrong way to do this technique. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can tell I'm tired. Good thing I brought an extra piece of paper. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, I am totally tired. Let me get another piece of paper. We're gonna start over. <laughs> Okay, is anybody even? <laughs> okay, so did anybody even notice that I did it wrong? <laughs> First thing you have to do is sponge it with color. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do the color first. Oh my gosh, Ugh, my brain's not on right today. All right, we're gonna start with the parakeet party. So we gotta do this first, then we do the other thing and I'm gonna, Get this out of the way because I don't want to mess it up because I can use this for boss resist. 
So I'll just put that over there. All right, so I'm gonna take my Parakeet Party and we're just gonna sponge this on about a third of the card. I'm such a dodo head. <laughs> I'm sitting here going, wait a minute, this doesn't look right. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna put this all over. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of blob it on there. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Maybe one more little blob in the corner here. Okay. All right, so we're done with that color. Then we're gonna go to um, Fresh Freesia. And while I got this color, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the inside of the card because that's with this flower. So I'm gonna do that real quick. So I just put that right on there. And then um, get the little sponge dauber. And you could do this with the blending brushes too, but I think this makes it a little bit darker, the sponge daubers. So I just like them. Oh, let me get a paper towel. I want to get my fingerprints on here. So you're just going to put like three or four blobs of each color on here. And you want to get it kind of dark. Not like really super dark, but kind of dark. like here okay so that looks pretty good and then we're gonna fill in with um, the blue so we're done with that one so now we're gonna go to the Bermuda Bay and dab that on This one I just re-inked, so it's really, really dark. So just fill in wherever you've got white spots, you're gonna fill in with the Bermuda Bay. So you get the idea here. Just pick any three colors you want. Or you could use four colors if you want to. And just kind of put it all in here. So you want to make sure you don't have any white space. So we've colored the whole entire thing with um, color. So that looks pretty good. All right. So now what you're going to do is make sure it's totally dry. So we want to make sure... It's totally dry because you don't want the embossing powder to stick to any of this if it's still a little bit wet. So I'm just going to make sure it's totally dry. Now we're going to do the verse mark. All right, so we're going to start over with that. Let me get it back out. Okay, so take two. We're gonna ink this up. <laughs> How to focus the video. Let me see. You're just daydreaming watching. Didn't even realize it until you said something. <laughs> I can tell you're exhausted. Yes, Valerie, I am exhausted. Um. <laughs> Good thing most of y'all don't know this technique because then you didn't know I was screwing it up. <laughs> Yes, you color first. That's right. <laughs> it's a new way. <laughs> it's a new way. Screw it up, then start over. <laughs> you guys are so funny. <laughs> okay. All right. So now we're going to add the verse mark. So I'm going to stamp this again like three times. So we're going to do it again back in that corner. You guys can tell when I'm tired, I tell you. 
All right, so there's one. And I know you can't see it, but you'll see it when the powder goes on there. And then I'm gonna put another one down here. And then I'll put one more on the side. Oops, I think I just hit it and then lifted it up and hit it again. So this one might be blurry. Okay, there we go. All right, now let's try that one more time with the powder. Let's see what happens. I spilled some. Oh. Did stick a little bit, but not too bad. Okay. All right, so hopefully you guys can see that on there where the powder is. Yeah, I can see it in the picture. All right, so let's get that out of the way and we're gonna heat it up. So I've got my um, foil cardboard thing and a couple people asked about that, like why do I have this card, uh, tin foil thing? Because it heats it up faster because the foil will heat up from the back and it'll heat it from the back and the front. So it heats it a lot faster and keeps it flatter too. So hold on a minute while it heats up. Okay. Sorry for the noise. So you just want it to melt and get shiny. You guys see that? That's the coolest thing. I love embossing. I think it's so cool. Okay, and then once it looks like it's done, I like to just go over it for another couple seconds just to make sure. Okay. All righty. Let's just make sure it's totally shiny everywhere. That looks pretty good. Okay. All right. So then we're going to let that cool for just a second. And then we're going to go ahead and sponge it. It has powder on it now. All right. So I'm going to be using... Um, Pacific Point to sponge it, and also for the words. All right, so should be cool. All right, so I'm gonna use the blending brush for this. You can use the, the um, sponge daubers too, it doesn't matter. All right, so what you're gonna do is cover the whole entire thing with the dark blue. Now, most people when they do Joseph's coat, they use black but I don't like to use black. Um, I don't know, I think it just gives it a totally different look and I really like it with the blue. If I'm using like really pretty colors like this, I really like it with the blue. And if I'm using more earthy tones, I like to use like a brown. Um, that's just my personal preference, but most people use black and it gives it just a different look, but I think the blue looks really pretty. So we're just gonna go ahead and sponge this with the dark blue and you just want to get the whole thing covered with the darker blue so we're going to go over the whole entire thing and don't think oh my gosh you're ruining it i'm not it's going to come out beautiful okay 
I'm just gonna get this pretty dark all the way around. Takes a lot of ink. Oh, my cut finger is kind of hurting a little bit when I do this. You want to make sure your pad is good and inked up. Yeah, you can see where I just like put it down for a second, lifted it up, did kind of gave me a little double there. And you never have two that are exactly the same because every time you do one is going to come out totally different. I got a couple good jokes for you guys tonight too. I found just like a ton of them the last few days. All right, so then when you get pretty much everything covered in the dark blue, let me just put a little bit more. And you could use like Night of Navy or Starry Sky too. Any dark, dark blue would work. You just wanna make sure everything is covered. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. All right, so now, oops, I gotta do the words too. Let's do the words real quick. So the words are thanks, and I can't remember what set I got this out of. Oh, actually, it's this set. It's the same set. I'm pretty sure. I'm almost positive it came out of this set. So this is the same color, Pacific Point. There you go. So you can tell that pad's good and ink inked up. Juicy. Juicy, juicy. All right, so there we go with that. I think I want just a little bit more ink on here. Gosh, it already looks so pretty under there. Oops. Bent the paper. Okay. There we go. So now you take your paper towel and you're just going to wipe it. And it'll take off all the excess ink off the embossed part. And expose what's underneath. And it gives you those gorgeous flowers. Beautiful. Okay, so there you go. Isn't that pretty? Love it, love it, love it. All right, and then we're gonna put that on to our Bermuda Bay, like that. Since it's just a little bit curved, I'm gonna hold it just for a minute. Um, let me see. I'll read some comments. Um, let's see. Oh, hey, Sue from Australia. Oh, Rochelle, you need one of those foil cardboards. All I did was just take a box, a, like a cardboard box, Amazon box, just cut a little piece of it off and then just put some tin foil on it. Yeah, and then you don't burn your fingers, exactly. It does work. It does work much better with the foil. Yeah. Mine was free. I'm spinning on my computer. I hope that doesn't mean I'm buffering. Hopefully that doesn't mean I'm buffering. Yikes. Let me refresh my screen. Hold on. Hope you guys aren't buffering too. Okay. 
Now I gotta catch up. Oh my gosh. I'm just buffering. <laughs> Okay, no buffering. Okay, that's good. All right. Okay, I'm back. I don't know, my screen was buffering. That was weird, just for a minute. Let me go back. Oh, still. I know I went to get on here tonight and my computer was off. You know, I don't even turn my computer off. It just like goes to sleep. And then when I go to use it again, it's like, you know, just takes a second to come back on. But today I came in to use it and it was turned off and I was like, oh no. Because to restart it, it takes like five hours and it has to go through all this junk. How come you sponge on with daubers rather than blending brushes? I think the sponge daubers put the color on darker than the blending brushes. You can use either one, it doesn't matter. Um. Lucy said, I'm late because a friend who was having surgery tomorrow had the nerve to call just as the video was starting. Oh my gosh, these selfish, selfish people. How dare them? <laughs> uh, Laura's tired because she had a grandson all day. I don't know how some of my friends watch their grandkids all day. I don't know how they do it. I would die. I don't have any grandkids, but a couple of my friends, they're like in their 60s even like 70 and they watch little little kids i'm thinking true not me i'm too tired <laughs> i got too much to do plus i work two jobs so that's probably why i'm so tired all the time if i didn't work at all i probably would have a lot more energy but you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, I'll put a couple dimensionals on the back of here. I have ink all over myself now. Maybe three. Maybe four. <laughs> Need one more. All right, take those off. And put that. If you mess up somewhere, you can always cover that up with your thanks. And then this goes on the inside. And you could have done the flower in per in blue too. I just I just did it in purple because there's purple on the front. All right, and then we've got a ribbon, and I did the ribbon ahead of time. And we're just gonna put that on with a glue dot. And you know what? We gotta spray it with some shimmer. Oops, you know what? I did that too close to the edge there, I think. Hmm. Oh well, we'll just put it right there. And then we got some rhinestones. I have three left on this sheet. So we can put them, let's put one in that flower and one in that flower and then one just over there. And then we're gonna get our shimmer spray, give it a little sparkle. Oh, love it. It also will take a little bit of the color off, which gives it a little bit more cool look too. Because wherever you spray that shimmer, it will take off a little bit of color, but it's okay. I think it looks really good like that. All right, so there you go. Whoops. Let me read some more comments real quick. Um, yeah, I find it's quicker to get a lot of ink with the daubers too. I've only made this card once and wouldn't have thought to use another darker color than black. I know. I just think it's prettier with, without the black. Um, the black will cover everything, but I think the blue is prettier because it shows some of the other colors. So I, I like the blue butter. Oh, thank you, Patty Ann. You're so sweet. Nobody will notice I have a little um, double. Nope, I covered it. <laughs> oh, thank you. You just have to play around with. Yep. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, I think so. Can you save the mistake? Yeah, I covered it with the words. <laughs> um, 
Never did this technique. I have to try it. Yep. It's fun. More solid. Yeah. Solid stamps make it different. Totally different. Yep. Hello, hello. You're 70 and watching. Jamie says she's 70. Been watching great granddaughters for six years. Oh my gosh. I guess that'll keep you young though. If you chase after the little kids like that. All right, you guys ready for some jokes? And then I got some cards to give away. So, so hang on. Let me pull my jokes up. All right. So here's the first one. I got two today. An attractive blonde from Ireland arrived at the casino. She seemed a little intoxicated and bet $20,000 in a single roll of the dice. She said, I hope you don't mind, but I feel much luckier when I'm completely naked. With that, she stripped from the neck down, rolled the dice, and with an Irish brogue yelled, Come on, baby. Mama needs some new clothes. I don't have an Irish accent. I can't do it. <laughs> as, the ice, as the dice came to a stop, she jumped up and down and squealed, Yes, yes, I won, I won. She hugged each of the dealers, picked up her winnings and her clothes, and quickly departed. The dealers stared at each other dumbfounded. Finally, one of them asked, what did she roll? The other one answered, I don't know. I thought you were watching. Moral of the story, not all, all Irish are drunks, not all blondes are dumb, but all men are men. <laughs> I thought that one was funny. All right, here's the second one. Dan was a single guy living at home with his father and working in the family business. When he found out he was going to inherit a, a fortune when his sickly father died, he decided he needed to find a wife with whom to share his fortune. One evening at an investment meeting, he spotted the most beautiful woman he had ever seen. Her natural beauty took his breath away. I may look like just an ordinary guy, he said to her, but in just a few years, my father will die and I will inherit $200 million. Intrigued and impressed, the woman asked for his business card. Three weeks later, she became his stepmother. Women are so much better at financial planning than men. <laughs> I thought that was really funny, too. All right. So, I got a couple cards to give away. And then we'll all be done. So, let's see. And a couple of them are swap cards. So, here we go. All right. This first one I did with one of my girlfriends. So this one, let me see who hasn't won a card lately. How about Marlene N? Marlene N. You get a card. So the winner is Marlene N. Whoops, this is a pencil. Marlene N. I don't know what your last name is, but I think you're the only Marlene on here. All right, this cute little Easter card. Let's see, who can get this one? How about Cynthia Schmidt? Cynthia, you get this one. And I've got one more, this seagull, or I don't know, that's not a seagull, what is that called? I forgot. Somebody said it one day, and now I can't remember what it's called. A little bird that walks on the beach. Um, let's see. How about Lucy C? I don't know what your last name is, Lucy, but you got this one. So we've got Lucy C, Cynthia Schmidt, and Marlene N. So you guys send me your address at stampgirl2 at cox.net. There you go, right there. I don't know if you could see it. Stampgirl2 at cox.net. I got one person that won, sent me her address, and that's all she did, sent me her address. She didn't say, hi, this is so-and-so. I won a card. Thank you so much. Nothing. Just, just send me her address. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> At least say thanks. <laughs> I was cracking up. I thought, wow. Okay. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, I really appreciate you guys being here with me tonight. No buffering. Oh, good. Okay. Somebody said it's a little fuzzy. It's an exhausting job. Yeah, taking care of kids is an exhausting job. 
Yeah, I can't imagine using black with this either. I think it would take away from it. All right, guys, take care, everybody. I'll be back Thursday night with a Throwback Thursday video. So I got to come up with something that's a throwback card. Hope you enjoyed those jokes. Um, okay. I'll send you. <laughs> oh, Betty says she'll send me a, her address. And maybe I'll send your card. <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> All right. Take care, everybody. See you later. Bye-bye.